Hello guys and dolls, and welcome back to the next episode of Azeroth Adventures with Iverna. I hope you're having a beautiful, fabulous day. At this point, there really isn't anything that we, <laughs> that we have to do. We really just have to go to Menethil to turn in the quest from the last episode. Deliver the slab chisel report to Captain Stoutfist in Menethil Harbor. So, that's pretty exciting. Oh, I love this... Uh, this uh, purpley sort of hue around her. Look how amazing the white lady looks. Now I'm going to know what to call it all the time. Is the blue child in the sky? I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it later, I think. Can't see him anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> look at the travel time to Menethil. Holy shit. But at least we're uncovering a lot of the map. Which is always a plus because I'm I'm kind of a stickler. I like to uncover the entire map before I get like before I move on to the next place. So uh, this is really helping us in that quest. Oh, there's Menethil Harbor here in the Moistlands. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be able to call it the Wetlands ever again, and I'm fine with that. I've made peace with that mentality. Peace with that mentality. I don't know. Peace with that. Reality? Do I have anything I need to sell? No, guess not. This is the slab chisel report. Let's get on our green mechano strider and go for it. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've been in Menethil Harbor. I forgot that most of it got like wrecked because of the Cataclysm expansion. What's on your mind? Welcome to Menethil, stranger. I hope you've got good news or a stiff drink with you. No. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Oh, this is just lovely. Significant geological instabilities. Threat of sudden massive topological destabilization. Nice to hear that something bad might happen around here. Guess we'll just pick up our flooded town and fly it off somewhere safe. Bah! Is he being sarcastic? I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't as thick with sarcasm as as to make it obvious, but whatever. We'd barely pulled ourselves together after the flood when the dark iron hit the town. My men and I all rushed to defend the townsfolk, but the crazed fools retreated right into the keep itself. They're holed up good, and we can't destroy the keep, not with half the town in ruins already. Take my place, Iverna. I'd take the leader on myself if he hadn't dealt me this blow. Enter the keep, slay Horgast, and bring this to an end. Kill Horgast Flare Craze. Okay, so <laughs> I like that little message that popped up with it. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, it doesn't show us. That sucks, because that's pretty funny. There was a little message that said, I want him dead. <laughs> it was just really funny. Okay, there are a couple of quests inside here. Is is Buddy in here? Is that what's meant to I guess so can't go up this way oh is this him no nope, this is a dark iron smolder mage I didn't realize Menethil Harbor was uh, overrun with like enemies I had no clue it really has been a long time since I've been here holy moly whoa some crazy shit that kill him thank you <laughs> thanks for doing what I told you to do Iverna Thank you. Um, oh, someone else here. So now it looks like we're going to be grinding these uh, these dwarves a little bit. That's okay. So how is everybody doing? Today is, uh, well, you're going to be getting this on the 27th of April. Today is actually the 25th of April. It's one of my feline daughter's birthdays. Our oldest, Josie, is seven today. I'm very excited. But it's also a weird thing, too, right? Because they grow up so fast. <laughs> and they really are my children, for all intents and purposes. I don't want human children. So my cats and my chickens, especially my cats, are, are definitely my daughters. But it's her birthday today, so and we don't have a lot of money right now. So I wanted to do something really special for her and get her, like, some, some wet food that's extra healthy or something like that. But I... It, we just couldn't do it. But we had some catnip in the house. 
And one of our other cats, Louise, goes mental over catnip. Oh, my God. She is like the sweetest, kindest little cat. She is fat and she is lovable. She's the comfort cat out of the three of them. And but if you give her like she like she'll never hurt you. That's my point. She never ever hurts you. She's a big kisser. She ki- like she'll roll up on your lap and stay there for a half an hour just lick 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 licking you because she just she's just so sweet and she wants to groom everybody all the time. But if you give her catnip, holy fuck, she goes crazy. It is so funny. Oh my god, he just knocked me right off the Holy shit. Yeah, she goes really, really nuts. And it's so funny to see, like, she will beat on the other girls to get all the catnip. Like, <laughs> it's really adorable. And uh, it's 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 just shocking. It's funny how it changes her personality. How do I... Changes her personality. God, it's so hard to see because the sun is coming through my window. I really should record episodes, like, in the middle of the night. But my schedule doesn't totally allow for that, so... Like my uh, work schedule. Come on, buddy. Come on. What does five do? Chastise. Chastise is the target for fully one holy... Fully one? Fully one holy damage. Forty-one. Forty-one. Okay, this guy, I mean, uh, where is he? Is he up here? Really? This is built kind of strange. Man. All these dark iron smolder mages. So on my 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 uh, my ram travels all the way over here to Menethil Harbor. I did not expect I'd be doing a quest in Menethil Harbor, based on buddies being here, and I just didn't know. Here he is, Horg ha- Horgast. Is it Horgast or Horghast? Probably Horgast, right? Because that is like ghast, like beast. Here's Horgast Flare Crazed. Holy shit! Fuck, dude. Knock her off. So yeah, how is everybody else doing? It is a nice, beautiful day here on the island. The weekend was not beautiful, and our house was filled with crazy energy. The three of us were moody as shit. It was crazy. It's weird when that happens, but... What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do when they come for you? Glory, the Ragnaros. Well, you're dead now, so you can you can pray all you want. I don't give a fuck. All right, let's go turn this shit in. And I saw that there were a couple other quests somewhere. I can't see the screen. It's so friggin' dark. Hopefully, it's not too dark for you all. Um, okay, this way. And. I think that's the wrong... Wait, what's the right way here? I need the front door. Here we go. Light! There's light! Alright, buddy. I did what y'all you couldn't do. Friggin' useless. He's dead! Thank the makers. Fuck the makers! I fucking did it! I killed his ass! You kidding? I don't like the looks of them, lad. La... Um... There's a comma here. Which means that whoever he's talking to is Lad. Are you aware that I have a vagina? <laughs> and teeny tiny little girl gnome titties? <laughs> I mean, how do you not see this? All right. The dark iron I've tussled with were never this crazy. Something's getting to these sods. Okay. Um, well, I could get the flare crazed cloak. Yes, is what I'm going to do. No. Okay, so I need to go back. I need to go around to the town, I guess. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yes. Pick up some quests here. Finally. Some more quests. Three. Nice. There's a lot to do here, priest. But we need to keep an eye out for the gifts of fate. When the flood rolled in, right over our houses, it swept a good number of ocean dwellers with it. Menethil Bay is full of crabs now, large and ripe for the picking. Well, maybe y'all should stop sleeping with each other. I think that's probably a good idea. When life gives you crabs. <laughs> and then the second line makes it even funnier. Go crab fishing. I mean, I think that's really bad advice. I think y'all need to get some cream or something. When life gives you crabs. Go crab fishing, I say. 
Bring me back the largest, meatiest claws you can find and I'll pay you. Collect five meaty crawler claws from Harbor Crawlers. That's fucking funny. Hey, welcome to our town. We all have crabs here. Want to have some fun? All right, Darina Rumdnool. My son Gimlock's the light of my life. It warms my heart to see him playing with the other children. I can't help but worry, though. There's sharks not but a few feet away in the bay. If it's deep enough for one to swim its way here. I can't bear it. Please, you're clearly one gnome that's seen tougher situations than us townsfolk. Yeah, like, I've seen worse than everybody having crabs. <laughs> Would you get rid of those nasty sharks for me? At least a few. Killed ten harbor shred fins. Well, that's not a few. To me, that's several. Several. So let's go to this buddy over here. Sitting on the uh, sandbags. First mate Fitzsimmons. I was once first mate on the wave mistress. Ship of the line in the cool terrace. Is that right? Terrace? I don't know. In the cool terrace third fleet. The doomed fleet. Doomed. For on its last voyage, the fleet was attacked by red dragons. Dragons controlled by orcs. We didn't stand a chance against that dragon fire. And our fleet was burned and sunk off this here coast. I'm the sole survivor of those poor vessels. Bring me my mead, priest. Are you fucking serious? You're telling me this sob story about how everybody on, on your ship was killed thanks to the orcs bringing dragons. And you don't care about, you know, getting any valued possession from the bottom of the ship or or maybe collecting all the dead bodies of your friends so they can be buried properly or set off to sea and set ablaze or some shit. All you care about is your ale. Well, you know, priorities. Bring me my mead, priest. It's down in the cellar of the inn. As far away as I put it from me, I can't go without it in the end. <gasps> Is he going to kill himself? Please don't kill yourself, first mate Fitzsimmons. I'm going to call you Gerald. Gerald Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Obtain Fitzsimmons mead from the cellar of the inn in Menethil Harbor. See you around. Yeah, you sound like you're going to like commit suicide, bud. That's not cool. That's not cool. Talk to somebody around here. I mean, not me, because, you know, I got shit to do. But talk to somebody around here who will listen. Nice. Flight location discovered. So let's go down in the inn and get him his precious mead. Apparently it's... He can't get it himself for some strange reason. Is this the inn? I don't know. I don't... It, yes, it is. It's got that little... It's got that little blue dot on the map. Um... Seriously? You couldn't get off your lazy ass and get this yourself? I'm very confused, but whatever. I'll take the experience points. You're going to be lazy. I'll make some money and experience points and shit. Oh, who is that? Hi, Jojo Fleebish. Level 38 Night Elf Priest. She's actually from this server. I still don't understand that, why sometimes you get someone from other servers. It's kind of strange. All right, Gerald. <laughs> Oh, I'm so very thirsty. Won't you buy a drink for this poor, pathetic fool? Oh, dude, don't say those things about yourself. You're lovely. I mean, you're lazy. You could have gotten the mead yourself, but... There are reasons to live. Ah, that hits the spot and loosens the tongue. Uh, <laughs> you might not want to lose tongue with all the crabs going on around here. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Of course. Think Okay. Bolstered, Fitzsimmons continues his tale. Uh, I'm sorry. Bolstered, Gerald continues his tale. I am the sole survivor of the ill-fated third fleet of Kulturas wrecked off the coast to the north. On one of our ships was hidden a great and terrible treasure, and the eerie power of it keeps the souls of my brothers trapped within the ship's rotting hulls. Here we go. So you needed some meat in order to open up and, and share this information with me. Well, I guess... To an extent, that makes sense, but it's also kind of stupid. Whatever. I'm haunted by them day and night. First mate Snelly calls for me. He's supposed to be dead. Please, Iverna, look for him near the shipwrecks and just tell him to leave me alone. Talk to the ghost of first mate Snellig. Yes, you will, buddy. Yes, you will. 
So what do I want to do around here? Do I want to go talk to the first mate first? Let me see what I, <laughs> which direction I need to go in. What is this? Oh, that's where he is? Okay, I'm not going to do that right yet. I'm going to kill some sharks so this woman can chill the fuck out about her son, if I read that correctly. Oh, they're on the outside. Oh, no, here's one, right? No, here's a harbor crawler. Nice. Let's get some harbor crawlers. I wonder if these guys will actually give me, like, some sort of meat that I can up my cooking. It's so funny because I, I do think to a certain extent, like, cooking and all that other stuff. I, well, cooking and, and first aid, I think, are actually, they can be really beneficial. Holy shit, bud. They can be really beneficial. You, you gave me nothing. But am I just meant to kill you? Is that the deal? Whoops. Um, no, I got to get your claws. I think... Cooking and first aid are beneficial if you're doing like dungeons and things like that because you can help heal your team and everything else. But when you're playing solo the way I always do, I mean, there's only been one time I've been a part of a guild and I was part of that guild for like a minute. And then someone in the guild went off on me because he was paranoid as fuck. And so I was like, you know what? This is the reason why I avoided guilds for so long because he was some military guy and I made a joke. I was like, who are you working for? But it had nothing to do with like what he was saying. And um, like, it was just a joke. It was like him making a joke. And then I was like, who do you work for? And it was just, it was totally random. And I wasn't asking him anything specific about like his job or what he did or anything else like that. But I knew he was like military. And if you ask me, fucking military people are crazy. You're crazy to join the military in the first place because you're fighting for someone else's war and it's bullshit. Like, I don't respect military people in the least. And so he went off on me. He started attacking me. And I was like, dude, I was making a fucking joke. Like, chill the fuck out. So after that experience, I was like, yeah, this is why for the last few years I have only played Warcraft by myself and never joined anything else, you know, never joined a guild. But um, it would like the rest of it before that point, it was OK, you know, but I don't know. I don't like people. <laughs> I mean, I do like people, but I also don't, you know, individuals, you know individuals hang-ups kind of get in the way of actually having real conversations and really getting to the root of shit you know people just want to be surface dwellers and i'm not interested so no it's i'm very very picky i'm very selectively social like we got to be able to talk about real stuff i can't have to feel like i gotta bite my tongue or censor who i am because i'm not gonna fucking do that and if i feel like i have to do that with you i'm just not gonna hang out with you because i don't think we should ever have to censor ourselves if someone else gets offended by something you say, unless, of course, you're like, you're an asshole. I mean, I, we should never really talk that way to each other. But if someone gets offended by what you say, it's kind of their problem, not your problem. Which just makes me think of this whole PC movement and all that shit. And I can't stand that shit because being PC is just not saying the truth anyway. We're all different, you know. We're all different. That's just the reality of it. And I like that about us, you know. But... People get very, very offended <laughs> when you're very upfront. And I just think that's really stupid. So, yeah. So my only experience with a guild was not a positive one in the end. And during, oh shit, I'm almost out of breath. During um, being in the guild up until that point, up until he, he and his girlfriend went off on me, um, I was just like... Yeah, this is all right. I mean, I'm not really excited. We did a couple dungeons and and raids and things like that. It just it just didn't really appeal to me. I'm not interested in in all the extra perks that the game may give you for doing dungeons and heroics and shit. Especially considering there really is no quote unquote end game to a certain extent. Like, it's very open worlded Warcraft. You know what I mean? It's uh, like Sims 3, you know, it's it's not linear, like, nice, we finally got a claw, Jesus. Um, it's not exactly linear, I mean, the reality is you can, I could have leveled up this gnome somewhere else, I didn't have to go to the wetlands, I could have found another lower level area, I could have gone to Stormwind and picked up a few quests there and then gone on from that point. I really don't like when you do that, bud. I don't like when you harbor crawlers do that. It's it's shmarmy. 
I mean, it's kind of schmarmy that I'm coming into your environment and killing you, but, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I'll be honest about that. I'm, I can't cast that yet. So, yeah, it wasn't the most positive experience. So I would much prefer to play on my own. And to a certain extent, especially doing a Let's Play, if there is anybody watching this, I know I have just shy of 30 subscribers, so I hope people are watching these and enjoying them. You know, like... I feel like we're kind of playing together, you know, you who's watching, you know, and, and that I prefer. But I, I guess cooking and that was my point, cooking and first aid, I guess that's really kind of beneficial if you are in a guild or working with a bunch of people and doing a lot of raids and dungeons and things like that. If Then you can be the healer and help everybody out and, you know. But when you're by yourself playing the game, I'm just going to get some breath. Oh, no, I'll kill this guy first. But when you're playing by yourself, it doesn't totally come in handy, especially in the beginning, because I find that Iverna, like, heals herself quite quick. Her, her HP regeneration is really quite fast. So I don't really worry about, for as weak as she is, too. So I don't totally worry about it, you know. What am I meant to get from these sharks? Because they're not... Oh, I'm just meant to kill them. Okay. So that that woman can be appeased. Be appeased that everything's going to be okay for her son. Come on, sharky sharky. Buddy. These are some creepy looking sharks. It looks like they have... They're like kind of bald. <laughs> and you know when guys get really bald and they, they have like tufts of hair on the sides near their ears and they have one tiny little tuft maybe on the top or whatever that's kind of what it looks like to me it's funny it's interesting okay i'm out of breath and that's gonna kill me oh my god oh that was really close i don't like to make it uh, get that close but let's go back down let's go back down oh and there's some what is a strangle kelp yep Get some more of these buddies. Kill the city's crab problem, I guess. That's really funny. It was funny how he, he phrased that. But I'm a pervert, too. And, and you, know, in this, you know, if I made a sim of myself, it, one of her traits would be inappropriate. Well, societally inappropriate. I don't think I'm inappropriate. I think I'm fun. And just say what's on my mind and say what I see and say the truth. And that's it. But society would see it as inappropriate. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. I don't mind. I'd rather be inappropriate and be honest than be proper and lie about everything. Like I see too many people doing. I'm very cynical today. But that's just the way it is. It's been a weird weekend here. Like I said, strange energy just all weekend. We were all just moody and not feeling so well. And what the hell is that? It's probably not anything I can use. No, it's not. But I can sell it, and that's always good. That's a fabulous thing. Eh? <laughs> I love that little sound. It's cute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal myself, hit somebody here for a minute. This is, I mean, hmm. This is quite grindy. So you know what? I'm gonna cut out the rest until we get to the end of these two quests. And I will be right back in a few minutes. Woo! Got all the meaty crawler claws. Try saying that five times fast. Woo! Killed all the harbor shred fins. All right. Now let's take this back in. Don't bother with the smaller claws. They're more work to shell than the meat's worth. A hearty seafood dinner will lift everyone's spirits and help us get the town back in shape again. Thanks for the help, Iverna. Plus, y'all won't have crabs anymore. <laughs> it's been hard on all of us, but we're getting by. You've just got to roll up your sleeves and do what needs to be done. More claws? Murlocs are crawling out from the deep waters and building their villages on the coastline. They are harassing our fishers and merchants and must be stopped. One of these murlocs, Gobbler, skulks with other bluegill murlocs and harries merchants along the road, always then retreating to the safety of the nearby murloc hovels. Our merchants are in jeopardy, and we will pay to secure them. Gobbler prowls the river inlet north of here. Find him, slay his kin, and bring me his head. 
collect Gobbler's head from Gobbler, and slay twelve bluegill murlocs of any kind. Okay, here's where I'm confused. <laughs> um, why did y'all name this guy, this murloc? I don't understand. Is it what all the is Gobbler what all the other murlocs call him, or is it just what all you humans call him because he's the biggest murloc there and he's he's infamous for chasing people down on the streets or something? I don't know. Weird. Not long ago, a merchant vessel, the Blind Princess, was raided by murlocs. Although the ship escaped intact, much of its cargo was dragged overboard by the creatures, including a very valuable statuette of Terenus Menethil. We want that statuette recovered. Search the coastal murloc hovels for crates, barrels, and other evidence of lost cargo. Find the Menethil statuette and return it to me. Search the crates and barrels at the coastal murloc camps. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to the mama here. The mama. Darina. Oh, bless your heart to do such a thing for a married woman like me. You're too kind. What does you being married have to do with anything? This is your husband? I don't know. You're pretty. You can do better. I don't know. Maybe he's really nice. <laughs> I hope he's really nice. I hope everybody's really nice. Okay, let's sell some shit to this bud. You. Um. Um. I already have some stuff to restore 880 health, and we'll get rid of all of this shite. Keep the crawler meat for now, because hopefully I'll be able to tangy clam meat, crawler meat. Hopefully I'll be able to use it in the future. Crawler claw, really? Can I maybe get a? Is it a crafting region for cooking? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, hmm, let me see. I'm going to start heading off to that air. E yeah, okay, I'm going to have to leave the town. Well, now that I think about it, there are a few more quests, and I think it would be better served in the next episode. So I hope you're all having a beautiful, fabulous, fun-filled, sun-filled day. And we will talk very, very soon from me and Iverna here in Menethil Harbor. Bye-bye!